In this video, you will learn the basic yet most important components of being a cashier here at Stop and Shop. This includes personal presentation, your workspace, customer interaction, bagging techniques, and avoiding scams. After this quick run through, you will be on your way to being the best cashier you can be. Stop and Shop opened its first store in 1914 and now has grown to 414 stores across Massachusetts, Connecticut, and New York. We are proud to have you as a part of our team. Wait, that's not what you're wearing, is it? Remember, no flip-flops, no pajama pants, no coffee, and please tidy up that hair. Let's try this again. Much better. Sneakers, jeans, and neat hair. Oh, but make sure you put your phone away at the register. Am I ready to be a cashier yet? Not so fast. First, you need to punch in. Ow! I meant the clock, not the camera. Right behind you. Being a cashier is the most important part of a customer's grocery store experience because you are their lasting impression before they leave the store. Stop and shop has a history of giving its prized customers a very personal approach since 1914. Here is a situation you want to avoid as a cashier. Notice that she is avoiding eye contact, not facing the customer, and ignoring him by reading a magazine. Here is a situation you want to repeat for every customer. Notice the cashier greets the customer with a friendly wave before she starts scanning his items. Now, we must discuss Bob. No, not Bob from Produce Department. Bob in the basket. No, not Bob in the basket. Bottom of basket. That is what Bob stands for. Bob is a camera that is installed underneath the register to look for items that we can't normally see. The camera picks up the item and alerts the cashier that there is an item underneath that needs to be scanned. Oh Bob, you've outdone yourself again. At any point before the checkout, make sure you ask for their stop and shop card, as this ensures that the customer will pay the lowest price for all of their items. And don't forget to give the customer the survey regarding their overall experience. It could earn you a nice compliment. It is important when you bag to think of the bag as a house. First you build the walls using boxes, but support between those walls with cans and jars. Then, with the lighter items, make a roof. Failure to follow this simple method can cause small rips in the bag, and with paper being the only option, the results can be rather catastrophic! It is important when working with the public that cashiers know that while there are many great customers, there can be some with cruel intentions. A recurring scam that affects many grocery stores across the nation is also known as flim flamming. This is when a customer will try to confuse or distract the cashier during a transaction to leave the store with more money that they came in with. Let's look at some examples and see how we should act in this situation. A helpful hint that cashiers have adopted is leaving the cash they are given by the customer on top of their drawer. This way if the customer tries to say, wait I gave you a 50, you can say, 
No, you gave me a 20. It's right here. Now, let's look at a situation that seems a bit more tricky. Can I have some change, please? Sure. What would you like? Uh, just a time. Sorry, this is only nine. Oh, okay. Um, let's make it ten, and then can I just get a twenty inside? Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Did you catch that? Let's watch again. Pay attention to the money and see where it goes. Here, the customer asks for change knowing that she gave the cashier a dollar less. This gives her the opportunity to pocket the change made and recycle the bills for more money. To avoid this situation, simply close the drawer and politely tell the customer that you cannot make quick change. Or, if the customer is persistent, flash your light and wait for the manager to assist you. Congratulations! You now know everything you need to be a successful cashier here at Stop and Shop. We'll come visit you again soon.